Uh, what is up, my ninjas? Here we are back again for some director's commentary on episode two of uh, Naruto Abridged. I'm back, of course, with my co-star, my very talented uh, main cast member, Terrence. Thank you. It's really good to be here. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it like it's a fucking podcast. With like, uh, <laughs> I'm Joe Rogan. <laughs> That's what I was going you're, for. <laughs> yeah, you're my you're my guest star. So hold up. One second. I gotta I gotta get into my Joe Rogan. Um, <laughs> Have you ever done DMT? <laughs> I just frapped the mic so hard the whole time. <laughs> anyway, sorry. All right, so we are we're back. We are uh, reviewing, reviewing, doing a director's commentary of our episode two. A quick review on episode one. What do you think? A nine out of ten? A twenty-five out of ten? I give it. If I gotta say, honestly, I'll, like this is critical of myself and just our channel as a whole. Of the things we've put out, I think it's a solid four. I would I would say it's I'd give it hmm. I'm trying to avoid anchoring it's a, it's bias. It's a good it's a good first try. It was it was a good first try. I will give it a three. Okay. That's fair. Absolutely fair. Because yeah, just you know mic quality was shifty. Still learning a lot of shit about some editing. lines weren't yeah. There's some lines weren't delivered very well. Yeah. There was the 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 poop mouth. Poop mouth. Yeah. <laughs> poop, yeah. poop mouth. Ar- Aruka's shit mouth. It was it was a good first try though, and it really it started something a lot that was a lot of fun to, to be a part of. Well, uh, in terms of quality, I honestly think that we kind of kicked it into gear. Just I haven't watched this one in a minute, but from what I remember about it, if the first one's a four, I would give this compared to the other ones a solid six and a half, maybe seven. There was yeah, there's a lot of improvement, especially since you know looking back at it, episode one was basically a uh, a ten minute shit post. Yeah, yeah. And this one was like, oh, people care. Yeah, people want to watch this. Let's you know. Let's let's keep going. Yeah, let's tr- let's try. <laughs> the the only thing you know before we like right off the rip, yeah. what I remember episode two four is the hit we got on the end when we were playing yeah, that that was that a song. Dumb editing That's thing. like all I remember about episode two right yeah. now. Yeah, and that was a dumb editing mistake. I probably should have called that one, um, but. What I had seen before in other abridged series and other videos on the internet was that, because um, we didn't care about monetization at the time, I don't even think our channel itself was monetizable. I think mm-hmm. YouTube had mm-hmm. done that thing where it's like if you had less than a thousand, you couldn't monetize anyway. And we were definitely under that. So I was like, well, if I can't monetize, what's the point? And like I said, this is me like not understanding the rules, which I've gotten way better about understanding how this I also works. thought that since we thought that since it wasn't monetizable the rules would be more lax yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like youtube brought their big old dick in and was oh, like yeah. huh what's this yeah so that's what's rough about this episode however if you do want to see the original um i think there's either a link to it in the description that you can watch or you can obviously go to our Patreon and get get a dollar. I might have you know that what? one as free. Yeah. And while you're there, go ahead and buy a, a coffee mug or buy a shirt. Buy a coffee mug, yeah. Buy a shirt, buy a Shameless hat. plug. A hat? I'll be shameless. I don't give a fuck. Buy our shit. Buy it now. Yeah, yeah. Jesse, how long does it take for you to make a video start to finish, from writing the script to posting it? Well, let's let's put it this way. Um, we started I episodes um, 11, 12 and 13 were all one really big script that I wrote last fucking summer. So, that's how long it takes. That's how long it takes. So, we got so selling a $20 t-shirt. Yes. Makes it worthwhile. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> just just one $20 t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so it takes forever. It takes forever, and um, 
there's all kinds of problems when it comes to the edit, like, um, um, you know, songs or scenes that YouTube uh, flags specifically. So, you know, there's a lot of work putting into getting around that. And this is going back to what you were saying is that the rough part about the end of this episode was the mistake that I made. They originally let us keep that song, but they took the monetization. I was like, you know what? That's fine. I don't, you know, I don't care at all if they want to monetize off of our video as long as they let us keep that song. And then we got to like 5,000 views on it and then five or 10,000, I don't remember, but, and then they were like, no, YouTube was like, whoa, 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 this is too much. Yeah. You got to take, you got to take the song out of the video. So that's kind of why it's like that. It's unfortunate, so but stupid. it is what it is. So, so stupid. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, with that in mind, so to the people who keep commenting, when's the next episode? Oh, no, episode 15, episode 14. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. Just like take your glowy keyboard that you could see from outer space <laughs> and don't type on it. Just stop. Yeah. Get some help. Get some help. Just stop it. Don't do drugs. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. McDonald's wants you to give yourself a chance. A chance to find out all the wonderful things you really can be. All right, all right. Let's let's go ahead and get started on this one because this I remember this intro actually being one of my favorites. So why don't you tell me about this Uchiha kid? Oh, well he's some kind of whiny little edge though who thinks he's better than everybody else just because his whole family was murdered by his big brother. Uh, okay. Well, is he at least a decent ninja? Oh yeah. He's the best in his class. I just wish you'd stop bitching about the whole whole murder of his family thing. All right, well, I'm gonna... I mean, it's like way, way, way. <laughs> My mommy and daddy were bleeding out in front of me when I was eight years old. Oh, no, no. Like, just get over it, you little bitch. Hokage, I think it... Jesus Christ! If I knew he was gonna whine about it for five fucking years, I never would have ordered a Tachi to... You didn't hear that. <laughs> I fucking love that joke. I, I love that joke. And, and I've seen some people in the comments being like, but, but Don, so fuck you. Okay. Fuck you. You are, you are the worst kind of, per- you're a joke ruiner. Okay. And I, in the context of what is happening right now, it is very clear that fucking the third Hokage did it in our whatever universe or whatever. It's a fucking joke. So I mean, it was, like, close, yeah, it was close enough. Like, yeah. It had, like, maybe half an inch left, right. and you just didn't let, you, like, don't. Just let him, let him do it. Let him do the joke. <laughs> yeah, so some people I mean, like, most people who see it, most people who see it, they're gonna, they're gonna get it, and they'll be like, ah. It, right. But, you know, there's just, there's just, like. One percent of people who have to just fucking ruin it for everybody else. And you know, to be fair, they're most likely like thirteen years old, and they're like, "Yeah, but actually, yeah. but I just wanted you to know, if you're listening to this and you commented that on our second episode, nobody likes a person like that, and you're gonna grow up really, really, really alone. And I will find you, and I will kill you." <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Once again, with this fucking thing, like, just straight up nobody gave a shit about us using this song. I think it's so funny that a lot of the comments were like, it's just the same opening. Well, you said that. Do you not remember that? I did. I did. Which is why I think it's so funny. Yeah. Well, um, you know, I mean. That's just, it's a testament to how well it was edited, Jesse. I was really proud of how they came out um, and the kind of like the timing on it and stuff. But like, yeah, so the original American edit is like really weirdly bad. Like there's so many good shots from like just the opening in general that they could have used. Mm-hmm. And season two in Japanese, I think, was already out. So you had their opening you could have worked with too. So I don't understand why the fuck... The American one uses shots from like poorly edited or poorly animated like episodes where it's like they clearly didn't put in a lot of budget. You know what I mean? And it's like there's just mm-hmm. just single shots where it's like it completely takes you out. And meanwhile, you have this like beautifully animated opening that you can just take. You can just use that. It, 
it made no fucking sense to me. It really didn't. So um, to all of the uh, to all of the editors back in 2001 who made that opening for the American version, um, you should have hired me. I mean, I was eight, but you should have hired me. <laughs> 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 Oh man! Oh yeah, I remember this. Ramen, titties, <laughs> ramen. <laughs> I like I like that line. I I think it's funny. It's just I just yeah. It's funny because I don't think anybody's expecting it. Yeah, and you know what? But they <laughs> all know that they looked at the titties too. Right. Exactly. Um, I think what's funny about. Um, working on this show and it's like because i i thought kind of sometimes going into it the funnest parts are going to be editing the fights you know stuff like that mm-hmm. it's not at all that is complicated and weird and you don't know where to throw shit in and the music's got to be happening like that's not the funnest part to edit the funnest part to edit are these quiet little moments with like you know a character or two characters by themselves like having a silly conversation and like us just fucking with them and throwing in jokes that's the funnest mm. part to edit because you can really you can really work on the timing, you can really you know like play with like you know the comedy part of it and just like the ramen, 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 titties, ramen. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like because <laughs> he considers yeah, titties. He considers titties for a second, but he's like, no, uh, I gotta eat. I gotta yeah. F- fuck bitches. Fuck bitches. Get fuck ramen. Them. Yeah, fuck them. You don't need them. Yeah. Ramen. Dude, that's a shirt. How have we not thought of hmm? it? We just came up with a shirt. There you go. Put that you gotta, shit on you gotta put it up. You gotta put it up now. Yeah, fuck, fuck bitches, bitches, get ramen. Eat ramen. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I wonder if we could get away with it. Oh, finally. And I like the I like the little lines here and the little I think this is a good little acting mm. moment. This milk's chunky. Ah, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> you can see the pieces too of like, you know, not to brag on myself because I'm still not the best editor in the world, but like, you know, that part had some complicated, not super complicated, but little tight little moments. So it was like. You know, while he's thinking about it, he puts it back down, and then it kind of fast forward it to sell the joke. You know what I mean? When he's yeet, and kind of like the milk goes mm-hmm. faster. So it's mm-hmm. like the little moments of like learning. You know what I mean? Like piecing together mm-hmm. what's to come next. Um, mm-hmm. I also feel like you're more capable of putting into the video what you had in your head. Right. Yeah. And again, like like I was saying before about the like the fights being so complicated. Sometimes when you put something on paper, and then um, you get to the editing stage, you're like, ah, oh, shit, this does not work with the timing. You know what I mean? But when those mm-hmm. little those little moments when you can kind of like hit it, like pause it or cut in something else, that stuff like that, that's the funnest stuff to edit. And that's where like the the scene like you loved in the first one with like Aruka's, you know, mouth comes in. That kind of stuff. So mm, that's that's mm. always. I think, in my opinion, that's that's always the funnest part. Um, you're packed in your stack, especially in the back. Brother, want to think a mother for a butt like that? Honey, can you stop fantasizing about Sasuke? It's getting really creepy. Shut up, Dad! Don't patriotize me. Okay, sweetie, just just go to school, okay? By the way, Shoop is in that episode. Shoop, a fu- that's a song. That's a salt and pepper song. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like, and, and that didn't get hit. No, it did not. No, it did not. There is no, there is no, there is no flag on that video at all for Shoop to whoop. Shoop to, it's a fucking, it's a popular Shoop. song. It was in Deadpool. Yeah. 
And, I mean, you know, Maddie's doing um, karaoke to it, essentially, but, like, it's just in the show. Yeah. So, but what I loved about that scene, especially, is, like, um, the, you know, you packed in your stay, especially in the back, brother, want to thank a mother for a butt like that. Like, I like, I like that little piece um, of soccer just being, like, a little bit horny. You know what I mean? Yeah. It sets her character, it sets her character up very well. Right. Considering and, that they've also only seen her for, like, one second in the previous episode. Exactly. And one thing is, like, I want for the... Like, like there's people who watch our channel and watch this show who have never seen Naruto. And for those people, I, I, I'll go ahead and tell you to go ahead and watch the show. Um, and then come up back here for, like, supplementary entertainment. But I do want you to be able to see this and be like, oh, I get, I get it. You know what I mean? They're not missing a joke mm-hmm. because um, they haven't seen the show. The joke's funny enough to stand on its own, but also adds to you know the original work mm-hmm. or like jokes that would be mm-hmm. almost inside jokes to people who understand what's going on. Um, so if they can yep. work both, like like that one, be, Sakura being you know singing about Sasuke's butt, <laughs> you know we get it, but we're doing it in a silly way. Dad can be so condensating. I wish he'd let me grow up. Condensating. Let me bring you back to the subject. Ah, <laughs> uh, your boy Jesse with the with the female voice acting. <laughs> yeah, like 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 that shit. The, the, me playing Eno was literally just we ran out of girls. We ran out of girls, and that's all. That's all it was. So. And I was like, Maddie, can you do like a different voice? And she goes, I don't know about different enough. And I was like, well, it'd be hard to get Sakura and Eno in the same if they sound the same. So I was like, fuck it. I'll just be Eno. And uh, it came out really silly. And it honestly, it kind of sounds like shit. But I like it. <laughs> it, tur- it turned out okay. Yeah. Nothing can be as bad as Hinata's voice. Hinata's voice? <laughs> Dude, you wouldn't believe the amount of like... <laughs> Of like a horny fifteen-year-olds who are like, he not sounds like a man. It's like, yeah, that's what's funny. And every time I get a comment like that, it's even funnier to me because they're like, I, I guess they got their hand in their pants or something. Like, why does it? This is a fucking like parody. Like, what do you? What does it matter? <laughs> uh. Uh, but. Um, we did replace Eno later on. I still on. remember when you I, I still remember when you came out with the script and you're like, Aaron. Yeah. Pucker up, boy, cause you're a Hinata. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, what? I was like, yeah. <laughs> so I can't I just can't wait to the part where like him and if we get there, like Hinata and Naruto like confessing their fucking love to each other and shit because that's Oh gonna be my fun. god, that's gonna be so weird. I'm gonna have to do a thing with you and Aaron in the same room and Nope. You guys are gonna have to nope. make out and all that stuff. So no, nope. no. Nope. Great. Huh? Nothing much, crack whore Barbie. What about you? Crack whore Barbie was pretty good. <laughs> she got. Um, told you that you have the Maddie got a. Maddie was using your mic in this one, wasn't she? Yes, she got. Yeah, uh, we gave her a better mic, um, and um, I came out much better, obviously. I love that line. Again, I feel like I'm stroking my own dick here, but I do think that you have the body of Angelina <laughs> Jolie and the forehead of Peyton Manning. That's pretty good. I love good. that one. The Peyton Manning joke's really funny. And I, I've seen a lot of comments being like, how do you know who Peyton Manning is? It's like, what? what? Like, who doesn't know who Peyton Manning is? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, he had a fucking billboard in some city at one point. There's, pl- there's plenty of... Football jokes, football yeah. player jokes we make. Yeah, absolutely. Although they they're mostly about Peyton Manning. I mean, plus like, she also has a big forehead. Yeah, I mean yeah. Peyton Manning notoriously has a big forehead. Well, we you know the line later where he says you, you lost the Heisman to Charles Woodson in episode twelve. Mm-hmm. That's also Peyton Manning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. So she looks like Peyton Manning according to you know. But I like I like that reoccurring joke. Um, yeah, but that that was the, their little spat. We here, yeah so. we have we also have a lot of recurring jokes, which is what I feel is 
absent in other parodies. Right, and the recurring jokes feel earned, in my opinion. I mean, you know, people might be like, that's stupid. But, like, in my in my opinion, I feel like if you're going to have a recurring joke, it needs to be funny every time. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. one of them is the bad stuff, where we just have different characters saying, you know, uh, what happens when? They go, bad stuff. And he goes, like, mm -hmm. what? And they go, bad stuff. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. like a, it's a recurring joke because it's silly. It's a place you can add it, but it... To me, it feels like it sets the stage every time. Hmm. So if you're going to have something like that, in my opinion, you kind of need to, like, you got to earn it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so. Just like the Peyton Manning joke. Like the Peyton Manning joke. Yeah, they're, they're fucking spatting. Sakura hits her with the crack whore Barbie again, and she says, again, you look like fucking she Peyton Manning. She does look like, yeah, she yeah. looks like a crack whore Barbie. I yeah. Mean. It was, it was a pretty good burn. Yeah. Well, even in the show, they're like, you know, they, they straight up say, you not eating because she wants to look sexy. And it's like, bro, you're like 11. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone ever told you that you're a stupid bitch? Why don't you eat a sandwich before your butt looks like a pair of unbroken chopsticks? She got a flat ass. You get it? Because she's not eating. Because she's not eating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you eat a sandwich, bitch? Yeah, that's that's an area I would definitely like redo and clean up. What it needs really is like I'm gonna pause sorry, I'm gonna pause that for just a second. What it really needs is like a sound effect for the feet. And them like marching away. Yeah. Because it's so silent yeah. there, it's a little awkward. But like, I didn't, I didn't have like the no th right. You didn't know at the time. Yeah, exactly. I didn't have like the thought to be like, oh, that needs something. I was just stupid, so I didn't put anything. But um, yeah, if I were to do it again, I'd put something. Uh. Excuse me, I'd put something there for sure. Ninja, oh. ninja, I'll be a ninja. Naruto, what are you doing here? I am graduated. See oh my god. <laughs> Pause it. Yeah. Shikamaru's voice. Ah, watch up, Naruto. I, I don't even know what yeah, I was doing Yeah, it, uh, it mismatches yeah. what you do now. Yeah, now what, he's when like... When did that change? He's like, hey, yo. Now he sounds like... Yeah, he it, sounds like... Uh, yeah, he's like he from Brooklyn show, or something. The actual show. No. Right? No, in the actual show, he's just kind of like snivelly, I guess. You know what I mean? He's not... He, he kind of just sounds like, I'm Shikamaru, haha. -ha. Like, ah, he kind of just sounds like that. You know what I mean? Oh. But I was like, hey, I let's turn that up to eleven. He's gonna have this right here. He's a pizza <laughs> pasta. You know what I mean? He's like, hey, yo, hey, yo. I'm I'm watching Chuck Mangione play on his tromboni. You know what I mean? Eating rigatoni. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> I see you've really thought about this. Yeah, you know, I was like, fuck it. Let's let's give him a little little fucking shit. So. Now he's got a Brooklyn accent. He's Italian, I guess. And, uh, yeah. There's there's going to be some jokes later I'm, I'm thinking of cooking up for him. But, um, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I was just throwing something in because he has one line. Yeah. And I was like, fuck it. So, yeah, he sounds f fucking stupid. But the, the, the improv line that you did was you went, I'm graduated. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from. And I love that one. That's one of my favorites in this episode. I'm graduated. Yeah, Same because, as you, Shikamaru. Yeah, because he's stupid. <laughs> he doesn't. He's, he's a dumb person. Uh, oh, also, I was talking to Shikamaru, and Shikamaru's mouth is not moving. So. It's okay. Yeah. Really artistic, artistic privilege. No, that's right. I'm the yeah. one who beat Mitsuki. Mm. <laughs> Dude, what do you think of fucking Aaron as Hinata? I think we need to. I think we need to have a voice change. <laughs> <laughs> what What gets me about Hinata is that like, if you put her in any kind of like common, you know, like like, uh, uh, uh fuck, like if you, if you put it in context, she's so fucking creepy. 
You know what I mean? She is very creepy. She's a stalker bitch. Yeah, she follows Naruto around. She's always trying to, like, flirt with him, even though he's obviously not doing it. Like, she's just weird. So I was like, okay, what if, like, what if we took away the cute little, the cute little, you know, uwu girl, you know, that everybody paints you not to as, and just gave her a voice yeah. that didn't match? And it fucking works. <laughs> she comes off as I creepy see. now. She is so fucking creepy. Yeah. Especially so. when Naruto shits himself and she's like, I like your new cologne. Yeah. <laughs> well, remember, we already we made that joke before. Is uh, that your natural musk? Yeah. Naruto in episode eight says, yeah, uh, I think I just test. shit myself. And she goes, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm, Naruto, is it your natural musk? Yeah, so... Um, Good God. I like... What I like about that character, I guess, from Aaron's perspective, is he doesn't have to try that hard because that voice is just so dumb. <laughs> and it just works. It works. It works. So, for all those people who are like, change Hinata's voice now, I'm, I'm telling you right now, you can suck my cock. It's not <laughs> happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. It's going to be stupid forever because that's the way I like it. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a little editing stuff there I can work on, but it is what it is. Yeah, right. Your ego swollen head doesn't count. I really like how this scene turned out. Yeah. Damn, she noticed me. Gotta think of a cool line. There! What up? Hey, Sakura, is there a mirror in your pocket? Cause <laughs> I can see myself in your- Whoa! I'm a loser. <laughs> <laughs> I loved saying that line. That line was so fun to say. Yeah, I mean, for it's those like who don't know- It's like shitty pickup line. Yeah, the, shitty pick, <laughs> the stupid pickup line is, is there a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. All right, that's the stupid line. I like how you were like, <laughs> so I can see my... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the little chuckle in the middle of it. It seems really organic. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one too. Um, I wish a little bit that, um, you know, I could have matched the lips a little bit better. But other than that, I, I like the way it comes out. Bitches be tripping. And then bitches be tripping. Damn, cock block. What's with this guy? <laughs> Doesn't look so cool to me. <laughs> oh, ha, ha, I'm a background <laughs> character. Oh, hey, sorry. <laughs> That's another one where that guy... I'm just fucking... <laughs> I see so many comments who are like, That's a great line. I, I think I put in the script, like, background character says something. Yeah, yes, you did. I remember, and I was just like, oh, "I'm gonna fucking run with it." Yeah, and you went, "Ah, I'm a background character." I'm like, "That is so funny and so perfect." <laughs> <laughs> um, I love that line. I love, and I love that people are like, "That's that's hilarious." So, and then it just works. It still shows up in the comments every now and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I love that man. That was so fucking funny. But it's just, it's just. It's funny how those things you don't expect always hit you the hardest. You know what yeah. I mean? Because it's like, yeah. I didn't expect that to be a joke moment of the show. You yeah. know what I mean? Or of the episode. Yeah, but it, it just, does come out of left field. Yeah. Right. And the way it hits you, you're like, oh, that's a... That's perfect. I mean, anyway. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that being difficult. Yeah. Coughing as Sasuke versus coughing as right, Naruto. Naruto. Right. Huh? Miss me with that gay shit. <laughs> Got him. Now that you've made it through ninja school graduation, you will be split into three-man squads and given a new instructor. But anyway, for the sake of timing, let's go ahead and start with group number seven. Naruto! You'll be with Sakura. Huh? Yeah! Shit. And Sasuke. Yeah! Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it, my man's been taken. 
Fucking bitch. Next <laughs> <team>. <laughs> fucking ah, bitch. Ah, I forgot. Damn it, my man's been taken. Fucking bitch. I forgot about that, actually. That's really, that's really good. God. Fucking I wish I could redo those lines, though. Ah, it's whatever, this is, just one it's, It is what it is at this point. Yeah. Name is Stalker Girl. Me? The guy who smells like dog shit. <laughs> and the uh, guy with the bugs. <laughs> guy who smells like dog shit. <laughs> I forgot that line. Oh my god. Also, we hadn't decided on what to do with Shino yet, so he just pushes up his glass and goes buzz, buzz, buzz. Oh, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. So, because I hadn't given him. It's just predator noises. That's all Shino does. Yeah. And that's fine for his character because the fuck does he even do? Like, <laughs> so, but yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy who smells like dog shit. <laughs> Man, I didn't even realize that we hadn't done it for uh, Shino yet. Yeah, I hadn't thought of it yet, so. Yeah, that makes a good team. And then Blondie, I Lazy, love that, that little line. <laughs> Why do I always get the damn rejects? And that's everybody that matters. Your Jonin teachers will be here soon to get you little monsters out of my hair. They'll be here by lunch. Dismissed. Perfect teacher right before summer break. That's right. Perf like, it's spot on. Get the fuck out of my <laughs> so classroom. Why are we breaking like... into this kid's house? <laughs> I'm the whole kage douchebag. I can go wherever I want. <laughs> hmm. This milk is chunky. So is your mama, but that never stopped me. God damn it. <laughs> 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 what I love about that is that we set it up, right? Because Naruto looks yeah. and he says, this milk is chunky, right? Yep. And then Kakashi says, this milk is chunky, which is followed up by, so is your mama, but that never stopped me. I love, that's, that's in my opinion, that's how you do a callback, is that it has a different context when another character's involved. So, um, yeah, I love that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Kakashi's just good... like, fucking, god damn it. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I mean, and it plays up later, right? Because Naruto shits. Kakashi is very much the uh, gym teacher, you know. Yeah. The gym teacher who was like really good at sports in his heyday, and now he's just the gym teacher, right. and he's just like, "Fuck everything." Fuck these like, kids. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, f just same shit, different day. Yeah. I'm gonna do the bare minimum right. and get paid. And, I mean, if you remember, too... And go home and read porn. <laughs> if you remember in episode four, we make the joke that, like... You know, and you can you can take it if he's sarcastic or not, but um, we make the joke where he's and like... I didn't were... dream of taking care of preteens. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, Is not, that the one? No, it's the one where he says they were paying extra for special needs teachers. So, you know... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got you. That was a good one. Yeah. And, Episode uh, four, you know, for the record, is is probably... Episode four is when it was like, this shit's getting really good. Yeah. That was that was a moment where we were like, oh, fuck. This is, this is going to be fun. So... Um. Hmm? Sasuke! Hey, Sasuke. Want to have lunch with me? We could have dumplings and rice cakes and mochi for dessert, and we could sit by the no. sun. Oh, come on! No, for real, I'm I'm good. And why not? Listen, my oh, whole yeah. thing is like this scene was pretty. Breeding. So pretty if I wild. eat lunch with you, thus breaking my streak as a loner, I'm no longer the dark knight you have coveted for so long, and in doing so, will break the delusion you've created around me, undoubtedly ending in a tragic and painful separation for you. But by keeping my distance, I'll continue to be the pinnacle aspiration of your miserable life, and although hard to bear, ultimately less painful than the alternative. Huh? <laughs> God. So that, that line was like... That was hard. That was very hard for me at the time. Oh, that was that'd be hard for anybody. But also, it was kind of like my idea for Sasuke was kind of not only him being an edge lord, but him kind of like going on these like rants, essentially, like He's about how cool he like, is. Yeah, and, yeah, and it was funny for this joke, but I think that over time, um, it would have started getting really annoying. Um. With him just like going, I I think where we landed with him was better, but like it, I guess this is kind of rem, remnants of like a a forgotten idea, 
or like a idea that we decided didn't work as well. But um, I like the way it came out for the most part because like he undercuts everything you just said with. Plus you're a bitch. Plus you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I love I love that. Um, that line was so hard. Yeah, That's I remember it taking it, yeah. a lot of takes. That's all it, yeah. Well, because yeah. not only is it like we weren't. Yeah. Not only do you have to like, um, you know, get all of those words out. Um, the way it would work is if you like sped it up over the course, so it's like getting faster as he's saying it. Um, yeah. And it just kind of like. Ugh. It's a pretty good joke. I think, again, like I was saying, if, if we kept doing that over and over again, everybody would be like, all right, shut the fuck up. You know, <laughs> like we're tired of this edgelord shit. Um, so, yeah, Sasuke being more, not not exactly quiet, but just, like, annoyed all the time, I think that kind of, like, fits his character a little bit better. So. And this Nine Inch Nails isn't going to listen to itself. That's a pretty good one. Aww. Yeah. Well, we need to get back soon anyway. Where's Naruto? I think he's taking a wicked shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear God, why? That's pretty good. You can see the improvement in the yelling. Yeah. Because we had gotten the feedback about well, the whisper yelling at that point. Right. Than you, Naruto. We Still kind of shaky though. Uh, it's all right. Maybe if he doesn't show, I won't be stuck with you losers. <laughs> the old eraser trick will teach him to make us wait. Naruto, that's really in my tour. I'm not really sure. Wait, shh, here he comes. <laughs> Sorry, Sensei. Naruto did it all. Which one of you smells like shit? <laughs> Yeah, I like that little Man, piece. I still remember the episode in Shippuden where uh, uh, Kakashi, like, recalls that moment where they... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they pull the prank on him, and it's, like, from his perspective, what all he's thinking after what he just went through. Right. Uh, how he, like, breaks down their, like, psychology. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just... I thought that was really cool. And then these shitty that, fucking but... kids drop a fucking thing on his head. Yeah, <laughs> he's like going through some stuff, and he gets pranked. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I like that. But scene. then he like breaks apart their their dynamic. He's like soccer is the one that's the goody two shoes, and right. she always like immediately. Yeah, yeah. And then Sasuke's like the asshole who will like abandon everybody to complete his goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is also a reason why they kicked it off very early because they were similar in right. that respect, and then. Naruto is just a dumbass. Just a dumbass, yeah. And that's how he'll always be. He's nothing more. <laughs> <laughs> Naruto is one of those characters where it's like, it's, I, he's almost the epitome of failing upwards. You know what I mean? And that like he just yeah. keeps fucking everything up, and then somehow it works out. You know? Yeah. But you yeah. know what? It's a good show. It's just kind of. I stupid. mean, yeah. I mean, Naruto's an underdog story. Right, right. Until he's not. Until he's a god. Unt until he, yeah. Well, that's just anime. Yeah, and you know what? That I talked about this in my, like, stupidest thing in Naruto's video, but it's something that kind of always bothered me was they kept pushing this idea that the story is about an underdog, and if you try hard, and if you work hard, you know, eventually you'll get, you'll maintain your goal, Right. And then at the end, mm -hmm. for some reason, Kishimoto's like, actually, you know what? He was born as half of a god, and his dad had all of his chakra, and his mom had even more chakra. And then when they put the fucking nine tails in him, the only one he who could do it was him because he had so much chakra. And then you're like, fucking what? Like, what is going on with this? So I don't know. I think it uh, undercut. He had become so powerful. Yeah, he had become so powerful at that point that he he put himself in a corner from a writing perspective i think yeah a little bit and he had to start ad-libbing to make the story work almost because he had to push out another volume next month and right yeah and that's what's thing. tough i think with mangaka in, in general is that you are on such a tight schedule that i think shit can kind of get like 
you know, a little bit, a little fucked up because you're like, oh, I got to make a decision on where to yeah, take just, this. And I mean, it, it happened really early on with um, uh, his 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 godfather oh, Jiraiya? Jiraiya. yeah yeah it was just like they played it off as he's never seen the kid before in his life yeah and, and yeah. now all of a sudden it's like oh hey i'm, I'm your godfather this this blonde kid know who you look like yeah. this blonde kid who minato was like i'm gonna name him after the hero of your book because <laughs> remember Jiraiya wrote a book called naruto the Gallant or Naruto the ninja I don't know what it was but like he's like the hero of your story that nobody but me has read uh <laughs> and then he's like Naruto who who the fuck are you yeah there's I mean, a joke there moving forward there's a joke there yeah 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 so we'll work on that but anyway I think it's funny um how that stuff gets lost but yeah it's just a little piece but anyway that's 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 the old thing this is one of my favorite scenes we've ever done. Okay, so here's the deal. As a teacher, I have regular evaluations that determine how much I get paid. But to do well on them, I have to do pointless things, like learn all of your names. <laughs> so why don't we quickly just go around and introduce ourselves? Uh, could you kind of show us how, you know, what we're supposed to say? <sighs> Fine. I'm Kakashi Hatake. I'm a big fan of minding my own business. My favorite food is up yours. And my favorite movie is stop asking stupid questions. Do you get the gist? <laughs> well, that wasn't really helpful. Yeah, I've never even seen that movie. That... <laughs> yeah, I haven't even seen that movie. <laughs> Gets me every time I watch it. Yeah, that's a that's a great line. Soccer or Maddie really delivered that for Sakura, but I love the idea that you know it sets up that Kakashi's an asshole, and then Naruto's confused, and that Sakura's just an idiot and she doesn't know what's happening. Um. But yeah, I like I like that a lot. Um, that was kind of one of those moments where I like worked really hard on trying to get the writing pretty tight, um, and I think it came out well. You know, I also love doing Kakashi for a bunch of reasons. Um, a, it's just my voice, but a little bit bored. Um, B, no lip flaps because you can't see his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I try to make uh, I try to make him talk as much as possible sometimes, just to fucking. If I'm doing an exposition dump, it's gonna be Kakashi, because I don't want to edit. Because you can just still frame that. Still shit. frame that shit. <laughs> Maybe throw in a blink or two. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just for fun. Yeah. Exactly. That's if you're extra extra special. Spaz, you're up first. Okay. Well. My name's Naruto Uzumaki. My favorite food's ramen. I usually eat ramen every day. I like to put yeah, that's really all I needed. in the ramen while it's still hot. I love... I let it sit for six minutes. Sometimes I like to just eat it without any water. Slip this kid in Adderall. <laughs> on top, it's real good, you know. It just, you know, gets everything going. Enough! Uh... That, that's, that specific part, I was just like, Hey, Terrence, just talk about ramen for, like, five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I I couldn't really remember. I was like, did I did I just fucking bullshit half that? Stuff? Yes, you just started. You just did that, and I was like, nice. Yeah. Um, I started talking about the f um. So in in college, my roommate, mm -hmm. my roommate uh, would take would do that with the ramen packets. He would break up the ramen packets and sprinkle the seasoning on top. Mm -hmm. and eat them like potato chips. Yeah. So that's where that came from. I've seen lunatics do that. That is insane. Like, that's a wild it, thing. Yeah, so, like, yeah, just crazy, crazy story about how I just fucking pulled that out of thin, out of thin air. <laughs> well, and then we made that stupid video, um, you know, Naruto's Ramen, where, like, that got way more downvotes that I, I guess people didn't understand that it was a joke. <laughs> uh, when they were clicking on it, but like it's just like us being st it's it's that line, but it's me like filming some stupid shit. Um, I like to eat ramen every day. Sometimes I put corn in it, and I just like throw a can of corn in a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. But uh, I but like. I like. I really, I'm really glad. I'm really happy with how that turned out. It was, yeah. it was very good. Yeah. Especially with the, you know, I need to slip this kid in Adderall. Yeah. And he's like still going in the background. Right, right, right. Yeah, and that was that was a fun thing to edit at the time because like I hadn't done anything like that before. Um, like talking over each other and trying to make it work. It, I, I, st- I still think just from, you know, my experience, it's a little clunky. I could have done a little bit better job, but um, it's all right. It works. It works. Well, my name is Sakura Harno, and everyone here besides Naruto and Sensei should totally find me on Tinder. <laughs> um, anything else? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're zero for two in the brains department, but I'm batting a thousand on those who annoy the hell out of me. Yeah, I like, um, nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm good. She goes, just find me on Tinder, Sasuke. That's all she wanted to say. That's, 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 her, that's her whole character. That's all Kishimoto gave her, too. So you know what? Why add anything? It, yeah, we, yeah. Bringing up the rear, we have the Green Day reject. What's your story? My name is Sasuke Uchiha. Really cranking up I hate the edge. But most importantly, I can make the fangirls squeal with just the sound of my sigh. Your what? <sighs> <laughs> Look at that. As you can tell, I'm a pretty big deal. If it's all the same to you, I'm gonna go ahead and slip these on. Hold on, you can't just... Well, I'm going to pause it there before we get flagged. But yeah, as as you can tell, I'm a pretty big deal. I fucking love that, man. I fucking love that. Uh, <laughs> that was that was that was fun. And I and even like today when we gear up for recording Sasuke, I I will say these lines. Right. Not like all of it, but I'll be like my name is Sasuke Uchiha. I'm a fucking dickweed <laughs> and then and then go yeah you know it's it, yeah it's it, it gets you in the mindset uh, it does of it being does. edgy listen and uh, the, the spoiler not a spoiler i'm thinking you know with itachi later on like really trying to like hammer in on that too basically hatching having an edge off you know what i mean oh my god that would be so funny right um you know, where Itachi's like, little brother, I see your fingernails are not painted black. <laughs> He's like, fuck you, Itachi. That would be hilarious. Fuck you, Itachi. I, I listen to Nine Inch Nails and Avenged oh, Sevenfold every like, day. Yeah, or if, like, Sasuke gets, like, really bitchy around his older brother yeah. because it's his older brother. Yeah. And he, like, his voice goes up really high just like that. Yeah. That would be funny. Uh, Sasuke. When was the last time you wore a trench coat? <laughs> so anyway, oh I, 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 that's an idea for Itachi. I don't know if we'll end up doing it, but it's it's. Pretty there's good. a lot of characters I'm excited for, like Kisame. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's a shark boring lava girl joke somewhere in oh, there. Oh, absolutely. Are you fucking kidding me? That's great. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, like, damn, what would you even do for Kisame? I mean, like, you could just make him like. <laughs> Because he's a fish, you know he's just trying. Or do you like, or like baby shark, do, baby do, shark, do, 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 do. yeah, baby shark jutsu. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man, baby shark oh, ju- 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 jutsu. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go, there you go. It's fucking stupid, dude. <laughs> there, there, YouTube proof that we actually do the writing. Yes, proof, proof. When when we come out with it later. Yeah, you fucks. Um, anyway, I can't really play the rest of this, but it's just crawling in my skin. That was the song we used. So I should have known, like I said, I should have known that, um, whatever, but if you want to watch the real well, version, pissed, subscribe what, to Patreon or something, I don't know. Well, what pissed me off was that they made you take the music, they blocked the music out. Right. So it's just like awkward silence. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, and then it just looks bad on us because it looks like. It looks like it I'm a shitty just, editor, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just looks it just looks terrible now. Right, right. But I know. could like re-upload it if we wanted to, um, which 
I guess we could, but you know, it's it is what it At is. At this point, the damage is done. Yeah, yeah, you know. And in the top comment, I think I put something like pinned it like, "Hey, I'm sorry about the end of this episode. I know it sounds weird. Um, we had a song we thought we could use, but we couldn't actually use it. Blah blah blah." And that's just the whole thing. Is that like you know, we thought that the rules were we'll let you keep it if we demonetize it. When in actuality, they're like. We'll let you keep it until a certain number of views or whatever like this. So it's just a it's it just, just it's really, a newbie mistake is what it is. Yeah, and it really sucks because these first few episodes are are what get a lot of views. Right. And at this point, I feel like there's a lot of people who are like, all right, I kind of like, like this is kind of good. I'm enjoying myself. Is it worth my time? You know, they're making this decision subconsciously, right? And then they end on this shitty note that is not our fault. And it funnels a bunch of people away from the series. Exactly. And yeah. mo- like I said, moving forward, we really hit our stride on like episode four right. and later. And it's just like kind of sucks. It that sucks. We get ticked like that. Yeah. It's uh, it's mostly annoying. Yeah. But you're right. No, it's it, it, you said it perfectly. Is that the rules are so vague with YouTube and so nebulous to like what you're doing or like the kind of um video you're making um i think that's pretty much it for this episode i can't play the ending out without getting flanked so it's crawling in my skin by whatever band and uh crawling in my skin yeah i'll sing it for you just yeah let me see your butthole right is is that how it goes i'm pretty sure that's 100 percent accurate i yeah i mean i've heard the song so All right, well, but what, anyway, what do you think? Episode two, director's cut, absolute. I will give it, okay, I will give it, since I gave episode one a three. Yeah. There was a lot of improvements. Yeah. We were fleshing things out. Right. We were kind of, we were serious in the first episode, but it was still kind of a shit post, and yeah. this was like an answer to the call.